I really like about it, and I think that's the one of the things that makes golf architecture special, is that your canvas is is the landscape. Golf's unique because you know most sports, you know, they have a they have a pretty finite playing field, you know, and there's very few sports where the field that you play on changes so much. I think the fact that you know every golf course is completely different from another is one of the things that really create, gives us as architects a chance to create great tests of golf. And you're basically creating uh, a test that all different types of players are going to be asked to examine. You know, you're, you're giving them a quiz. You know? It's definitely, a, I don't know how to describe it best, but it, it's the type of experience when you are creating something that you know all realms of life are going to play it and they're all going to probably do it differently. That's a blast. Right now the trend definitely is towards renovation work, which uh, in my mind is fun. Poppy Hills is a perfect example of a, of a renovation course that uh, you can put a completely new face on an existing course, brand new golf experience, um, and using the same bones that are there, but softening things out and removing bunkers and creating more fairway. One of the more awkward spots on the original Poppy Hills was a 10, 11, 12 sequence. And we've eliminated the old number 12 tee shot, which was a severe dogleg right, 90 degrees, very awkward tee shot. And then what that did is it opened up a brand new dramatic downhill straightaway tee shot with the Santa Cruz Mountains and Monterey Bay in the background. The project started with an emphasis on water conservation. The NCGA decided to go ahead and uh, try to reduce uh, their water consumption by 20%. And so we were brought in to, um, to help achieve that. Chambers Bay, you know, pretty much once in a lifetime opportunity in that we were uh, we were given a site that, uh, believe it or not, for over 50 years was one of the best sand and gravel mines in the entire Pacific Northwest. And one of the key components was okay, we wanted to make sure that people got in touch with Puget Sound right away. So the first hole, boom, goes right out and feels like it's on Puget Sound, even though it's a it's a hole away. You look at it and it's in the background. It's right there. And the USGA is bringing 2015 U.S. Open to Chambers Bay. And wow, how, how good is that? I mean, that's, that's as good as it gets from our perspective. It's kind of like, you know, you know being a, a movie actor and winning the Oscar. I mean, for us to have this kind of thing happen on, a, on our golf course is fantastic. And the golf course was definitely designed to, to have places on each and every hole where the best players of the world were going to want to go and the rest of us average guys and, and gals can't get anywhere close. <laughs> you know? I mean, there's some strategy out there. There's so many variables in golf. I mean, that's what makes it, makes it so fun, is that, you know, you just, wow, let's think outside the box on this one and just throw this at them and see how the players react. And it's a lot of fun. It's, the variety is what keeps you going.